This is Friday. Hello all, I'm Shlomo Cooper and we are with a quick update on the hustle and bustle in Wall Street. Lots of things are happening there. Please, please let me know you understand the strategy I frequently sh showing you in these series of videos I call Buy the Dips Strategy, which is by far the best strategy for day traders in recent years. I will love to read your comments and you are more than welcome to do so just under this video. What a day, what a day in Wall Street, what a day it was and another huge success to the buy the dips strategy. The SPY, this is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 right now on a 15 minutes chart, started the day on Thursday as you can see with what looked like it's headed, you know, for the worst day for Wall Street in months. And that was, you know, just a day after the celebration, the Dow zoomed over 23K level. We had negative story about weak orders to the iPhone 8. You can see uh, Apple here down 2.6% yesterday. We also had poor earnings from eBay and the 30 year anniversary of the 1987 crash casted a shadow of worry. But we all know what the bulls in our market are made of. The bulls, after about 40 minutes of weakness, went into full force, unleashing a steady eddy by the deep dynamic that wiped out completely all the early weakness and taking the index back into the green. None of the worries I mentioned mattered. So while the regular investor, you know, may regard yesterday's action when the S&P finished up only 0.02% as another ordinary sleepy day in Wall Street, but for active traders like you and me, this is what we need in order to make a kill. So on a 15 minutes chart on the SPY, I just watched it going uh, down in the early going, trying to figure out when the debuyers computerized algorithms are going to get in, you know, in order to join them. If you have in these days even little blood in Wall Street, you know the feast is going to come soon. So this is the reversal bar on the 15 minute chart. Actually, I didn't use the SPY, but the UPRO, this is the three time leveraged ETF, UPRO. So the, I went into just a couple of cents above 121.09. This is a hammer formation, one of the most known reversal bars of the Japanese candlesticks. So I placed the buy order above this bar and really enjoyed the ride till the end of the day. Now, the persistence of this pattern is amazing. I showed you a couple of times in my videos how it works and if you are not yet involved in it, if it's still not part of your trading plan, make sure you know how the deep, how the buy the deep strategy works and make sure um, you trade it. The persistence of the part, the, the, this pattern is amazing and you know it's quite not so common for a pattern like this to work for so long. Just think about it for a moment. If everyone knows that the market tends to rally at let's say 10.30 a.m. every day, then the professional traders would start buying at 10.25, you know, so that they would catch a lower point. If that works, then traders will start buying at 10.20 and then even early. Eventually, they will wipe out the whole pattern and that is because they aggressively anticipate what will happen. But amazingly enough, it's not what is happening in our market. Instead, the deep buying and late ramps that uh, we see, like yesterday's action, are self-fulfilling. And as they occur, others jump in and give them stronger momentum. So rather than try to jump in front of the pattern, traders simply join in. Now, there are many reasons why it's happening and I often talk to my traders about the dynamics and what's happening behind the curtains and why things are happening the way they do, but you know, it's all philosophy 
and you don't need to be a car engineer in order to drive a car even without understanding anything about the mechanics of cars you can still drive one and that same logic applies also it to our market so we need to know as traders what works in the market and embrace it if it works stick with it this is a new era when computers are handling about 70 percent of all the money flow in wall street computer algorithms are producing endless deep buying and we as human traders are just exploiting it so please let me know you understand that and commit yourself at least to try it you can comment i commit in the comments below this video and i know you are with me on that one Hot stocks on the radar for Friday. We have a couple of stocks to watch today and three IPOs are in our agenda for Friday's trading. Above all, Skechers SKX. Let's put that on the chart. As you can see right now, it soared to the sky in the extended session up more than 23% after posting better than expected quarterly results. I'm going to put Skechers on my screen today. Also, PayPal. Um, jumped almost 4% in the extended session after higher than expected quarter earnings. I'm going to also to follow PayPal today. On the downside, ouch for Celgin, CLG, which fell nearly 7% after hours. And the company announced that it wouldn't be initiating a phase three test of the Crohn's disease drug that sent Celgin to the ground. Um, we have three IPOs scheduled for today. First of all, LXL Live X Live Media, which raised $100 million yesterday and it's going to start trading in Wall Street today. Another IPO is REDU. This is a Chinese company and SE. SE is C Limited. It's an IPO from Singapore that is going to draw lots of attention uh, today. It's a huge IPO. It's, it raised more than half of a billion dollars yesterday. It's a, it's a platform that offers online gaming, online shopping, and digital payment services this is some hot issues today in the technology world so make sure you have them on your screens thank you all for watching have a great trading day and have a great time in this weekend i'll see you next week bye bye